At exactly 10 a.m., the convoy carrying Tanzania's President Samia Suluhu Hassan arrived at State House in Tebe for her first ever official visit as head of state. In true presidential fashion, Samia Hassan was welcomed by her counterpart and host, President Chiru Museveni, before she inspected a guard mounted in her honor. The two leaders then headed into State House for private discussions. In her address, President Hassan expressed her gratitude towards President Museveni for agreeing to postpone this event in light of the death of Dr. John Pombe Magufuli. We all know how the late President Magufuli was an ardent and staunch supporter of this project. And so, postponing the event was an honor to his commitment and the realization of this project. President Hassan also observed that the oil pipeline is going to benefit both countries through the creation of jobs as well as improving on trade relations. This project will have an impact on socio-economic development and geostrategic dynamics. The project will yield revenues to both countries while creating short and long-term employment for both highly skilled and semi-skilled professionals as well as casual laborers. In return, President Museveni revealed that he had previously held reservations about the construction of an oil pipeline instead of a refinery. Why pipeline? Why export the oil? I had a rumor that there were human beings here who need the oil, why do you take it away from them? The compromise then was, okay, let us have both, the refinery and the pipeline. So that's why we are here now. However, he is now convinced that the country will equally benefit from this pipeline. There's a high chance for more oil and gas to be found in the, in the remaining 80% of the oil province, especially in the Mutanzige area, such as Kibiro, Butiaba, ETC. Museveni is also hopeful that this new infrastructure development will convince other African countries about the need to develop their own capacity in order to rely on their own resources. That prosperity and strategic security are only possible if we use the Pan-Africanist approach that gives us a bigger market and rationalizes economic linkages. What now remains to be agreed on is the final investment decision that will guide the implementation of the entire oil project. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.